Hi folks, um, I just thought today um, I'd do a quick chat. I've received a parking charge notice and that's from a private firm from my understanding. Now before I carry on, none of this is legal advice, it's simply what I do. Now I've received many of these parking charge notices from these private firms over the years and I've ignored every single one. Often I find they send six letters. First they, uh, they'll claim to be from the charging park firm. And then the next three, the last three, usually uh, they'll either claim to be from a solicitor's or um, what do you call them, one of those bailiff types. Now, my understanding is bailiffs can't come round until they've taken you to court. And in my experience, I presume these letters are just to scare you and it's a, a numbers game because um, most of the time they never take you to car from my experience and again this isn't legal advice um, but in this case it's slightly different because I have actually paid uh, when I um, the system they had was you pay you drive in and as you leave you scan a QR code and go on their website type your edge in and it calculates how much you owe and to be honest, I think the, their calculations were low. It was less than I was expecting, but there was no option to change it, so I just paid and presumed that was it. So, as far as I'm concerned, I've paid. Now, on the letter, it doesn't give you a phone number, so I can't be bothered contacting them online because I don't think... Well, I'm not interested. I've paid. I'm not arguing that I've paid with them. If they want to take me to court, so be it. Now, again, I've done this many times, and I have been taken to court, I believe, twice, and I won both cases. The first time was because they didn't write to me within 28 days, or whatever the time period was. They, 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 they took too long. And by law, I think my understanding is they have to contact you within X amount of days, and within that letter has to have some legal information. There's things that legal they have to have. And the letter I was sent today, I don't think contains that anyway, so it's irrelevant. Um, the other side of it is, you might say, well, why don't I dispute it? Well, I've experienced doing this before from one of these private, well, whatever they are, where I contacted them and the information was um, that they rejected it. And um, even though legally they shouldn't have done because it, they had written to me over the time frame so it's a straightforward rejection but they said oh no we accept it so um oh, by the way i don't believe it's legally binding when when they give these and again none of this is legal um advice folks this is simply what i do so that was the one that took me to court and i won straight away because they hadn't written to me within the time frame and in fact there was stuff on the letter they'd missed out so inaccurate the judge said i'm not having this um, so I just thought I'd share it with you guys because obviously I th I'm going to ignore this and um, I mean but one of the reasons that I've had some of these I, I think are so bogus for, um, there was one I parked in a supermarket and he had two hours um, and as I left I went for some fuel which was on their land and I didn't realise I thought well when you're paying for parking it's parking I didn't realise it was simply for being on their land. And so when I queued up for fuel, which took about 10 minutes because it was a big queue, in fact, it probably took longer. It took me over the two hours. So, And then I got a letter then, quite honestly, tech with it. I ignored that. I mean, again, I always get these um, six letters, usually over two years. So I thought I'd share with you guys what I do. And again, this is not legal advice. Um, because I thought, well, say, well, I suspect we'll get the six letters, and every time I get the letters, I'll tell you what they say, and then we'll see if they do take me to court, which I've got a feeling they won't, but even if they do, I'm not concerned, because usually, well, I've, you know, I've paid, so I don't know what their dispute would be. Um, not my problem. Um, and again, you know, I know some people are not, and they'll claim that they haven't got that first letter, or any of the letters, and obviously, you know, it's one word against another. And this is why the don't people don't contact the um, parking firm because if you contact them, you've admitted you've got the letters. 
and presumably you're admitting that you're the driver and you was there. Um, you know, I have no interest in doing that anyway. And if it does go to court, I always enjoy myself because what I do is they've got to send you legal stuff before, I think it's seven days before. So I always ask for things such as contracts. Oh, someone's text me there. I always ask for the contracts of to prove that they own the land or if it's a land loan who's given permission. I always ask for the contract to prove it because it could be. They could be just randomly sending you letters. Um, and there's always, I ask for everything under the sun basically. Um, so I like to mess them about a bit doing that. Um, anyway, so I just thought I'd share with you guys and we'll go through it. If I go to court, I'll explain what I'm doing. I'll write, you know, I'll read out the letters and, you know, I'll name the firm. But if I lose, well, if I win or even if I lose, I mean, regardless whichever way, I'm sure it'll make some nice, you know, quite interesting videos. So, you know, and by the way, this... I thought they want 60 quid up front or 100 quid after 28 days. I thought, you can get knotted. I'm not paying that. I've already paid. I've done, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I've done it. If their system doesn't work, their computer's faulty. It's not my problem, folks. Um, but we'll see. I mean, I don't know if they've got a record I've actually paid or not, which is, it doesn't mention anything on the letter. I thought it was very deceptive. Um, but we'll see, folks. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, maybe, I don't know. Um, I'm not concerned in any way. But you see, I think it is a numbers game. I think a lot of people pay, even if they're innocent, even if they're in the correct and the right, because they'll just do it just to get them off their back. I don't do that. Um, not interested. But hey-ho. Um, as I say, I thought I'd share with you guys. Bye. Yo no fui la que empecé Es mucha gente Y ahora Siento en el corazón Siento en el corazón de...